but we've talked about this on the show quite a few times. I'm kind of obsessed with the Birch Aquarium. I love to take my daughter, Roya. We are frequent visitors, members. Uh, it's so fun to see. But did you know they also offer a winter camp for kindergartners up to third graders? So with winter break coming soon, this is a good way for the kids to learn a lot and have some fun. So we have Birch Aquarium's educator, Matt Arellato, joining us. Good morning, Matt. Good morning. Yay, I'm so happy to have you on because, you know, we love what you guys do at the Birch. Every time we go, there's something new to be learned and see. Uh, so tell us, tell us all about the fun camps that you have planned. So this year for the first time, we are offering two three-day sessions around the holidays for students uh, that you mentioned earlier to come participate in some really cool scientific explorations, backstage animal encounters, as well as creating some keepsake crafts for the holidays as well. Ooh, okay, so kindergartners to third graders, that's a great age. Uh, you know, they're so curious, wanna see all the things you have. Uh, so what will they get to see and do? <laughs> uh, including our live animals, like our sea cucumber uh, on the screen. <laughs> Uh, we do have tons of tide pool and local animals from our habitats here, as well as exploring all of the different areas that we have at our facility, including some backstage ones as well. Oh, I was going to say, now we see the sea cucumber. Uh, so wait, that's what's, you know, it's inching its way to the side of the tray there, it looks like. Um, and tell us a little bit about sea cucumbers. What, what, what's so interesting about them? Other than they're they're one of my favorite <laughs> animals in our oceans. They're yeah. found locally here in San Diego. It's waking up right now. You can see it's very <laughs> active moving around. You don't typically get to see that with an animal that, that looks like this. They are a relative of our sea stars and our urchins, but they're oh. actually really soft and squishy as a way to ward off predators. So they've got some really cool adaptations that help them survive in our coast. That's interesting. I didn't know they were relatives of sea stars. Whoa, they're so different. Distant cousins. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How does the squishiness ward off predators? So it helps them move and navigate through tight crevices in the oceans oh. along the rocks, uh, but also making them look kind of spiny. So that way predators might think they're a little bit less tasty than they actually are. I see. So see, the squishiness comes in handy. I will remember that uh, during the winter months as I get squishier. <laughs> it could help you out a little. Uh, okay, so that's always fun. I, we know we go out to the tide pools that you have set up and, you know, you can touch them lightly. Uh, the sea stars that are there. It's so cool to see. Uh, so that's part of winter camps, right? What else is going to be happening? We're gonna be doing a lot of explorations focusing on the poles and the different climates uh, that we have not so close to our coast here in San Diego, as well as exploring some of the mammals and animals that live up there too. And we're gonna be making some holiday crafts themed around uh, the different activities that you can do around the holidays, uh, as well as being able to take them home for your families and your friends to see as well. What kind of crafts? That sounds like fun. My personal favorite <laughs> is going to be a snowflake ornament. We're going to oh. be making out of buttons uh, and recycled materials. So talking about Yay. sustainability and protecting our ocean planet as well. Matt, that's so nice. Uh, I will say all of you at the aquarium, are you seem so passionate about what you do. And it's clear that you love to teach kids uh, about these animals. Uh, you have a love for that, right? Yes, all of our educators are highly trained and we love working with kids and spreading the information of the ocean uh, and getting them engaged and interested yeah. at a very young age. They can go on and pursue it if they choose. Yeah, I mean, I definitely dream of my daughter becoming a marine biologist one day. No pressure, Roya, but it would be cool. Uh, let's also talk about season's greetings. That's also happening there, right? Yes, it's our annual celebration that we have at the aquarium. We, we deck the halls and put up tons of decorations and a little bit of activities as well for guests of all ages. So if you come to our aquarium, you'll see our, our wonderful new setup for the holidays. Oh, it's all decked out. Uh, do you need reservations? Reservations are required for attendance to the aquarium. You can book those in advance at aquarium.ucsd.edu. Okay, perfect. And it's been very easy to do. I will say it's a very easy website to navigate. Uh, also, uh, the behind the scenes seahorse tours. We have not done that, but that sounds super cool. Uh, seahorses are so interesting. Uh, what do you guys get to see or show the kids and adults during this behind the scenes tour? It's one of our most exclusive programs okay. that we're now offering at the aquarium. Uh, they're starting on December 21st, so make your reservations today. 
Uh, but you'll be able to see our behind the scenes facility for our world renowned seahorse breeding program uh, behind the scenes so that nothing that other uh, guests could ever see before unless you do one of these tours. I love that. And if you could explain, Matt, to the seahorses there, I mean, they are awesome. And you see all these different types. I didn't realize there were so many shapes and sizes that they are. Uh, tell us a little bit about these unique creatures. Yeah. We have 10 different uh, species of seahorse here at the aquarium ranging from the really large pot-bellied seahorses to the really tiny dwarf seahorses. Uh, some of them are only on display in our seahorse breeding room, so they're animals that you won't get to see if you just come to the aquarium as well. Uh, but our seahorse breeding program has been around since 1994, and we've been one of the most uh, prolific and successful institutions here. So getting a chance to show that with our guests mm -hmm. is one of our favorite things to do. Yeah, and explaining why that's also important. Also, Matt, I do have to ask you, the little penguins, uh, those are coming soon, right? Yes, we're so excited. Our, <laughs> our facility is under construction right now, prepping for their uh, arrival and debut. Uh, but you can look forward to the uh, little blue penguins coming in the summer of 2022. Cannot wait. My goodness, you have so much going on. Thank you for sharing it all with us this morning. And glad to see the CQ Cucumber is up and awake and uh, we're all getting ready for the storm that's on its way. <laughs> yes. <laughs>